Welcome to my DVD about distance flycasting which brings together information gathered during a long teaching career. It is designed in a precise learning sequence to be dipped into and out of through your remote control to hopefully speed the process. This diagram shows a typical basic seven weight still water casting sequence with the line continuously straightening backwards and forwards in the air. This starts with a 4 meter or 13 foot back cast and finishes with one of 11 meters or 35 feet which represent the smallest and largest casting weights. Then coiling the 11 meters or 35 feet of the final back cast it weighed the same as two UK two pence coins. This was 14.2 grams or 0.5 ounces. Again, I suggest you take these in your hand and try to visualize the small casting effort needed. What is the correct rod hand speed and general timing for casting when fishing? Well, please perform the following exercise. When this first sequence of typical three shoot cast finishes, please be ready to physically follow my arm movements with yours as if casting, when it is repeated without commentary. These casts are a short one of 14 meters or 15 yards in seven seconds, a medium one of 18 meters or 20 yards in nine seconds, and a long one of 25 meters or 28 yards in 11 seconds. I suspect you will find it all much slower than you expected, but as you can see, this casting tempo is very effective and shoots line well, so you really do not need to hurry and waste energy. From experience, I find that casters also make further progress by gradually increasing the brush size for this exercise. The water droplets will travel even greater distances once the extra weight is overcome and light agile movements become possible again. For many years I have taught what I call haul and fall to get casters reluctant muscles to perform what seem most unusual and apparently unhelpful movements. To start with while trapping the line as in basic line release by hook fingers and thumb Nothing more than a short downhaul and up return in each direction of cast, followed by allowing the line to fall to the grass are needed. This works because the time the line is on the grass, which can be varied, gives the brain a think break and allows it to focus on the next movements. At this stage it is quite enough to create a haul return rhythm in both directions without getting stuck at the bottom of the hauls for the want of a mini shoot. A good fishing weight forward distance cast downwind, assuming room for the back cast, is 27.5 metres or 90 feet, measured from your forward toes to the fly. This is achieved with a medium stroke length of 750 millimetres or 30 inches. To create style and discipline for these events obtain a literally 7 middleweight outfit because 9 weight overcomes wind easily and is deceiving whereas 5 weight being light promotes an unwanted forceful approach but the 5 and 9 weight outfits are available for trial at BFCC meetings. Now let's make casts with good style extending only a comfortable length of long headed line which will regularly straighten its leader. In my opinion, a good T38 cast is 50 metres or 165 feet, with 54 metres or 180 feet exceptional, and T34 10% less. However, if your distance is consistently less than you would like, it is because you lack the technique, usually small and hard to find, to cast faster. So enjoy working it out, it's half the fun of casting. <laughs> 